Yo, 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 beautiful people of the interwebs and YouTube out there, wherever this might reach and shit, you know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> so basically, here what has happened uh, recently, if you've seen my shorts, the yellow truck went home, these two engines are cracked, um, water in the cylinder of both of them, so it's just got parts. I'm still working on this my C10 that I short wheel based and um, just need a couple more bodywork parts on that been replacing the roof panel on this the 84 GMC Sierra I'm gonna be uh, doing an axle flip on it here shortly and um, have a little bit more body work on the, on the replacement of the roof panel that I've cut here to a pretty precise gap. I actually brought this here to show the customer, but you can see there. So, pretty much 1 16th gap all around, which is the thickness of the blade got pretty down with that and it took a while but anyway if you might seen on my previous short videos or just overall this is it 1978 Silverado C30 camper special 3 plus 3 and we just uh, brought it home bought it from this old man I'm pretty hyped about it actually didn't know because they didn't actually look under it much so it's just one of those buys you know like this guy wanted it gone but it has air right suspension also a little bit slammed so uh, that's good that it came with the air right already i'm gonna do a c-notch cut on the frame still anyway and then just relocate the brackets and stuff and uh pretty much we're gonna have a c-notch air right suspension pretty sick um, so that's a fucking plus, big time. I gotta air those up, so, um, if you notice here, I'm hitting tire, just gonna air them up. Um, gotta bring the ramps down, I took them with me to put it on there. I had to cut them off the truck, because of the same reason they wouldn't have been able to fly here, but, um, I'm actually on the hunt for some aluminum ramps, so I can carry on this, and then those aluminum ramps, you just, uh, store them under it well some things so I can just store it in there anyway that's later or whatever if I even end up keeping the C50 because I'm actually gonna sell it if anything maybe also this is clean pretty clean I might just dye this carpet because it looks like it used to be green but black will catch on good on that shit still with that carpet dye I've done it before actually it comes out pretty good it has one small rip there but the back seats oh, in good ass shape. The whole headliner's not ripped at all. Dashboard needs a little bit of attention, but it has all everything. Yeah, fuck with it. Well, that's a hole there, but for the radio, but you know, could be bad. It ain't bad. All complete. Bad. It's got everything. That's trippy. My fucking truck, the other one, has a black gate. And this one has a brown one. And if the black one fits here better, I'm gonna put the fucking black one in here. Because they had also swapped it on the other one. It's a cool little engraved steering wheel. And it says Chevrolet right there. Hmm. It's pretty cool. Well, it's missing the fucking engine on it. But I'm getting one. I'm missing some of these dome lights. Three of them. 
which I think I am going to get replacements for because I like that. Don't like shit. Paint's coming off, but the body, the actual metal straight. It's just paint. That's like, that's cheesecake for me. I'll fix that shit and go. And, um, yeah. I'll take the fucking whatever that, whatever that says, take this shit off. Excuse me for the incredibly good camera work there, but you know. The major issues that I have here, body ways, is this. Too, with these fucking screws, shit like that, just kind of like, oh, you some bitch, whatever, you know. I mean, like, just lift this life. I do have that tailgate there, there. That's from that long bed, and this tailgate here only has a couple little dings here, so that might work better than this because it has all the. This is missing all the insides that actually make a latch, hence those latches. Um, that's no biggie. I'm actually missing this trim with these letters for that truck. So if I'm going to put that tailgate and I can, could have used this trim, but they fucked it off with all those holes. But still, I mean, see what happens. Chevrolet has it on the right uh, passenger side, and Gypsy has it on the driver's side. And I have one of those panels that's less beat up than this one, but it has the holes for the letters, and the letters are missing, but it has the holes on the other side for GMC, because that's a GMC bed that I need that panel for, because the Chevrolet bed was long, you know what I'm saying? See, we're following there. Also, let's see, keep walking around here. That's that fender and then this fender here has this little chunk missing here. This and this. Well, it's all fucked off. I'm thinking this, I want to cover them and not run it like there. Because if I cover them, I still need to fuck with a bunch of this fiberglass and structure. So I can just put a perforated, perforated um, metal screw it in or whatever and then just fiber on, on top of it and roughen this up so it all catches and in here i was gonna screw shit rock sheet rock screw squeeze my english there um sheet rock screws through the inside on some perforator metal and then run some fiber on top then cut those screws off with the grinder and then you know you know the shit i mean just regular fiber work worries me that it's missing the gas cap on this side um, but yeah I'm gonna have to drain those tanks I do have a long bed tank that's clean right here though I'll show you right now so if that tanks disgusting I can just use my other tank so I was really happy there that's saving me like $500 on the airbag setup that already has on it so I mean the truck at this point was free <laughs> I'm just playing but yeah I mean everything's looking kinda sexy this same problem had happened to the other one and I fixed it so I might have to take the fender off maybe not but I'm fixing all that for sure um, I have no intentions of repainting this so if I fucking body work and it needs paint, it's going to be primed forever. Probably flat black. But I definitely got to close the windows on this. The 70. I always forget what year it is. I forget if it's a 71 or 72. I'm terrible. 
keeping track of my own shit. But I love this thing. It's like a big, big pig. Big blue pig. I dubbed it La Gusana Ciega, which means the blind worm, which in Spanish lingo is like slang for penis. <laughs> Or some shit like that, but you know, slong and shit. But it's also the name of this, but like, some sort of uh, psychedelic band or I don't know what kind of music you would describe it as. But it's pretty cool. So yeah, we're gonna maybe put the logo of my shop on the door and just keep the original blue faded paint. I wanted to paint different, but then I kind of respect the way it looks because I like it. Like show something I don't know leave it in the comments below if I should paint it and fix the hood or just get a different hood and leave the patina or try to fix that hood it's fucking jacked up I haven't even tried to fuck with it because they welded the fucking hood springs on so I couldn't even take it off so if I take it off it's gonna stay off until I get new springs and hood so because they welded the springs to the cab and to the hood so i have to do all these cutting and shit so it's one of those things this truck's straight everywhere except there because i had a fucking something they dropped something on it according to the dude but this used to carry a loader that's why i had those ginormous ramps <clears throat> and work wonders today though the winch i installed which a secret between me and you i half ass installed it and just put that tiny bolt holding it because last time we just went to pick up pick up some sheet metal and then um, kind of just sidetracked on that one and then boom we picked up a truck with it today <laughs> no biggie nah but I gotta I do gotta move the winch back and um, maybe because I was just a test run to see but thank god like I didn't go crazy far today and like fuck up my own shit you know but this has already been fucked with if you can see it's in because of before when I was a loader and it's been like through a little bit of a rough life but I mean the top roof line is pretty straight let me show you pretty straight it has like a little bit of things but nothing too terrible so I kind of want to keep it that way I am missing that spotlight that went up there and I saw if you see my short videos I saw a truck that has it in its uh, square body that has that the spotlight that mounts there that is missing from the inside or maybe not, I don't know. Pretty much not gonna run this front bumper, I'm gonna run a stock looking bumper, I hate this shit.